Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. A couple people had a cool thought, and that was sort of the driver for doing this show. And that is to take a look at this speaker from this Crosley clip system we reviewed recently. Some people had thought that perhaps the tweeter in here was fake. As you remember, the sound was mediocre. It was okay. It was it wasn't life shattering in a good way. <laughs> and it, you know, it just is what it is. So crazier things have been done. I've seen this before, decorative things that look real and really aren't. And this is mysteriously shiny. Although, you know, the cone of the uh, woofer, if you will, is also shiny. So who knows? But I thought it'd be kind of fun to dig into it and see exactly whether or not that speaker's tweeter is real or not. Is it fake? Is it real? Let's find out. We're gonna dig into it, and you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Welcome to Recordology. Okay, so unfortunately, there's no screw holes on the back. I think these are just pads. I don't think they're hiding anything. I would be more inclined to think that these are hiding screws for this faceplate that attach down into the speaker cabinet. So I'm gonna have to gently pry this, this little foam pad up here and see if there's a screw under there. Okay, and I think these are just hiding right behind there, probably the screw heads. So let's see. And that would be affirmative. There is a Phillips screw in there. So let me remove all four of these pads and get these screws loose and let's peek inside. Okay, and these were actually fairly tricky to unscrew. They were just really tight. That should do it. Let's open it up. Okay. What the heck? Well, there's our answer. <laughs> yes, that is completely fake. Wow, guys. Look at this. It's like jammed full of glue and yeah, completely fake. You guys are right. Completely BS tweeter. But what actually caught my attention first was this weird pattern here. Like what in the world? Why would they use this colored board material here? And the speaker's just bolted right in there. Okay, now let's continue. Let's take the speaker itself out and see what's in there. Okay, I've got all the screws out of this guy. So let's go ahead. It's not sealed or anything. Let us see what we have. A generic speaker. Maybe we can see the power rating. What does that say? One ohm, five watts. So that settles that. That's actually, the magnet to cone ratio on this is actually kind of interesting. Now I wanna show you what's down in the cabinet. Not too much. Okay, moving this out of the way and looking down inside. You know what? The beauty of shooting this on a small camera is I can take you inside. So let's let's journey into the depths of this speaker, why don't we? So it's literally glued board panels. There's where the speaker wire leaves the cabinet. The other end is just connected to the speaker itself. And then the rest is a hollow box. So there is the port there, so there's the speaker port, but yeah, pretty simple and disappointingly completely fake tweeter. I don't like that. I like design elements, but I don't like fakery. So that is a bit disappointing, guys, but interesting. And also weird, they would pick this weird wood grain board. Maybe that's all they had left that day. Again, they didn't sound awful. They were just unimpressive. It's just a little speaker and a huge cabinet. You know, it's kind of bizarre, but and again, it's from this guy right here, the Crosley Clips, made by Timzen. So anyway, I hope that was interesting for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, give me a thumbs up, share it out. But we will see you tomorrow. That's going to do it for today. Happy record hunting. We'll see you tomorrow.